Hello and welcome again to Simple Ways for Google Sheets, Apps, Scripts and Forms. Today we are going to see how to work with dates from the Apps script and not from the Sheets. We had seen the Sheets functions for working with dates and we had seen its conceptions and so on in the previous videos. You can check the link on the top or in, uh, on our channel. And But today we are going to see how to, uh, to work with the dates using the Apps script because many functions to automate some tasks on the uh, Sheets or on any other Google Digital product, you need to work with Apps Script as one of the languages or with JavaScript. So today we're going to see how to work with dates using Apps Script and how to collect dates and how to work with dates. So first we will define a new function as usually. So it's our function today and we will call it simply dates. Okay, we can make it date one. So if we come and make other functions on other videos, so we have a margin. So it's our date one. As usual, we define a variable. So either a var it's or let as we discussed in previous video so var is uh, it's our spreadsheet so or we can simply copy it from the sheet we had done or from the function we had made before so control c for simplicity so and con control v that's my uh, initialization i had selected the active spreadsheet which is the one i'm linking this apps script with and uh, because i can generate an apps script you can find this in our trainings for apps script we can generate an apps script that's on the apps script app itself for Google and then link it to uh, use the URLs to get the sheets and so on. You can find this in our uh, trainings. So variable sheets, we get the active sheets and we get the active spreadsheet. Okay, and then we need to uh, to see what we mean by date. If you remember in working with the functions, we were using the new or the now function here on uh, Google. Um, in sheet four, if you remember, we were having the now, okay, or to, that's today, and that's okay. So we were having the the, the today value, and the other functions that we had worked. So do it's today or now. So if I say now, okay, which is this one? It gets you the date and time. Okay, so that's this date of this video. So you get the date and time by the now or by the today. Today gets you only the date. So if we go back to our apps uh, script, that was a simple review. So now to make I make a new variable, I call it uh, date one, for example, and this one to make it equal to the date or the, to today's date, I will say to new. Okay, because I'm making a new constructor for the date. Okay, and simply I open the parentheses. So that's our date for today. Simply I press enter. If I need to logger, as we had said, our friend is logger.log. So we can see the results we are working. And then I will log the date one. And then I need to save. Okay, and make sure that I'm uh, working with my, the correct function, which is date one. Then I run it. Okay, so that's my information. Today is Friday, June 3rd. At, it's about uh, 21 15 the hour at gmt plus three where we are, are recording and that's on 2022 that's the year okay so that's the now date okay so but as we said to working with automation i need to collect some data and then work on the data from the sheets so for example if i go here and uh, for example i need to select this date which is p five the date in the p5 18th february 2030 that's date coming back to us from the future so for example i will make variable i will call this one date two and this date two i will get simply my sheet which is the active sheet that's very important take care because now I've, i'm selecting sh uh, cell p5 from the active sheet okay that's the active sheet because that's why this sheet should be active in the sheets itself so in the sheet dot get range we are using the a1 notation so it's p5 and then dot get value so it this get value will return us the value of the date so if i logged it here so logger again dot log and i need to log the date too okay i need to save and run so you can see here that's 
February 18th, 2030, which is a date coming from the future. So now we see how to, to select a date. As we said, you can do uh, some mul uh, difference between the dates and uh, the and the uh, and get values of the date and the year and so on. So if, for example, I need to get the months of uh, of this date. So for example, I get date one. I need clock instead of looking the date itself. I need to uh, dot get months for example which is a function and here I will get day Not get day okay I save and run okay now we can see that if I bring this a bit down from here which is uh, the months which is from the new date from the new date of the day that's the month of date one uh, simply it says five but we are june june should be six okay if we get here to get day on the other one which is day two if we turn back to it it was on the 18th of february and this was monday so monday is day one but day one not because that it starts from one that's very important now I'm going to uh, MDN or previously called Mozilla uh, Web uh, Network because it's the documentation of the HTML and JavaScript used with HTML. It's a little bit different from how the func time functions works with the sheets. So you can see here that the seconds is from 0 to 59 and the hours is from 0 to 23 and the days is from 0 which is Sunday and ends with six which is saturday the days the dates of the month itself is from 1 to 31 that's not changing and the months is month zero is january and month 11 is december so you can see that there is a shift here there's a little bit glitch that years start from 1900 if you remember when we're using the function of uh, the the function uh, to get the date out of a value we were using uh, zero and this was bringing us to uh, december 1899 that's on the function of the sheets here it's bringing us to uh, 1970 not 1900 if i used zero the date of zero it's 1970 january 1st 1970 that's with zeros that's where the counting of the milliseconds start which is milliseconds it starts in counting in milliseconds i'll show you in a second what do i mean by that so that's very important so if we turn back to our uh, data so here i can make it on two steps for you so we can see it better so here then i save and run once more for you so you can see here that this month is june is coming five because mozilla tells us that the month is counting from zero to eleven and if i go back to uh, february 18th it was monday you can see it here it was monday monday is one because zero is sunday that's very important it's how it deals with the dates as numbers because that's like this you can do some functions addition multiplication addition subtraction and so on you can do it like this in functions. so another very important concept as we had learned in our previous videos about the starting date of the calendar so simply if i defined a new date here it's i will call it var date three this will be equal to new date and simply i'll put a value inside the date i'll put a value of zero okay and then i need to display this value here so again it's logger.log and this one would be date three you usually need to save and run okay now you can see that this one is Thursday, January 1st. This one, uh, hour is 03 because it's GMT plus 3 and starting from 1970. So that's the date uh, 0 we had to see here, the date, which is the starting date at the 0 millisecond of the JavaScript or the EBS script counting, which is based on JavaScript. That's why we are getting this data from Mozilla uh, or MDN, Mozilla, Finet, uh, Mozilla Developer Network okay so now i need to give you we were there's another small concept we need to edit today 
and we will close this video before we, that so if this what does it mean that it collects it in milliseconds so i will give you another example here if i define a new date here for example that's var date 4 and this one would be equal to new date then i open bracket i put here because it's milliseconds so i need to multiply by 1000 so times that's 60 seconds and then multiply by 60 again which is 60 minutes so like this i'm getting the date of the first after the first hour from the starting of the calculations of the uh, javascript for the dates and then here i will log date 4 control let's control v date 4 i save and run once more so you can see it here on the network we can bring it a little bit up here you can see here that when we added that was thursday january uh, 03 hours now after adding or starting from the first hour it's 1000 milliseconds multiplied by 60 seconds multiplied by 60 minutes so this gives us the first hour as if i'm putting this number it means one hour like this i'm adding one hour to uh, to this date and then i'm getting the date at the first hour so the information we had so far will make a very strong start for you working with apps scripts and dates join subscribe you will find in the description box links to our trainings on udemy and to our expert services on fiverr regarding the sheets and the apps script and even the forms and i will leave you also the link to the mdn website where we find this information and that i had showed you in the video see you in coming videos from simple ways for sheets apps scripts and all google digital services